Minister of Works and Transport Rohan Sinanan said he is thankful that contractors came out in their numbers to complete works on the westbound section of the Beetham Highway following Friday night's shooting incident. On Sunday, after a tour of the construction site, Minister Sinanan said he was happy with the turnout. He also attributed it to the increased police presence in the area. Marie Hull reports. Friday's shooting incident on the westbound lane of the Beetham Highway, which resulted in one man being shot in the leg, had caused some uncertainty as to whether construction workers would be safe on the job. On Sunday morning at the site, one visible presence was that of members of the Trinidad and Tobago Police Service. Works and Transport Minister Rohan Sinanan said while he's awaiting a full report on Friday's incident, all efforts have been made to ensure the safety of the construction workers. He praised the workers for turning out to complete the job and get back on schedule of the three-week project. So I want to just thank the contractor for, and, and his employees for actually coming out and, and putting all into it to get the job back on schedule. Because if they didn't do that, we would have been into a serious problem come Monday morning. One worker of Lachmi Singh Transport Contractors Limited, Sunil Miraj, told the members of the media that some workers were afraid to return to work. It was scary. <laughs> it was really scary, but the police come and they handle everything. They get it under order and they get to come out. The workers come out now because they feel more safe right now. They feel what's around, you see the police, everything locked down. Everybody more comfortable to work. Yes, there was afraid to come out, but now everything is more safe. However, Minister Sinanen said this was not the first time he had received such a report. This is something that we have been dealing with for a while, and we have brought it out. It, it was even mentioned in the Parliament that there are a lot of areas in Trinidad that once you start a project, there are people coming to the contractors and demanding sums of money. The government will not be tolerating that. 